50th New Orleans Jazz Fest Open after brief rain delay. Rain delayed the start of the 50th New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival on Thursday but didn't seem to dampen spirits. That's Buddha, 25, of Manhattan, one of the nine people dancing in a huge, grassy puddle off to the side of the main stage where Earth, Wind and Fire was closing the first day. He's come to New Orleans with his parents, Scott and Hillary Buddha, and their friends, Amy and Jamie Bernstein of Brooklyn. They're exposing me to the music of their time, says Buddha, who occasionally used binoculars for a better view of the stage where the group was performing sing a message to you. Amy Bernstein says she and her husband were exposing their friends, whose daughter is a freshman at Tulane University, to music festivals. We've been to 15 new sports folk festivals they've never been to a festival ever. This one of her first jazz fest, she said. Earlier in the day, Lisa Wurzel of New Orleans 2 stepped with her husband, David Wurzel, to the Cajun beat of Towser's Battlefield. Both wore rubber boots. Lisa Wurzel said they had more rain gear in case of more rain and there were indeed more downpours. The gates opened 90 minutes late, with the date scheduled second as that starters. Many play sets much shorter than originally planned. Now Holiday and the Humpty Tom preview has 25 minutes rather than 45, Balsa, Towsers has 30 minutes rather than 50. There were still more than 60 acts and interviews at 13 stages and 10th 10, 10 for music plus an interview stage, a fifth tent and a cultural exchange pavilion. The pavilion usually focuses on a single country but this year features more than 150 performers from 13 countries over the two weekends of Jazz Fest. People in slickers, transparent ponchos and trash bags turn to, in Ponsu ponchos continue to stream into the infield and the soggy sand of the racetrack. One pair in black rain jackets added kitchen-sized trash bags as galoshes. Bob Warren and Neil Adler were at the festival to work at a beer tent but took advantage of the delay to get some lunch before fans were admitted. It's weird to be here with no music playing, Warren said. He was eating bound involved fried rice and sausage, and Adler had a barbecued brisket sandwich. They also tried one of the year's new item oyster Rockefeller disc. The cream soup with oysters and spinach was tried exceptionally good, Warren said. Two sales continued even during the rain, though dark plastic liners were pulled down to about 18 inches, less than half a meter, from the counters and lines of customers were far shorter than usual. Music and were packed with those fans of the Gemma Blue, Jeff, Gospel and People Taping Shelter. Melinda Solomon chatted with fellow University of Mississippi Medical Center student Ashley Fitzpatrick during a session in the Jazz Tent by percussionist Jason Marsali, his combo and his father, pianist Eric Marsali. We were eating at one of the booths and ran over here when the downpour started, Solomon said. She said they come to hear Canadian singer-songwriter Alanis Morissette, scheduled hours later to close out one of the two biggest stages. Amy Bernstein said she and her friends had sheltered in the gospel tent after walking to the fairgrounds through torrential rain. We listened to two groups, she said. It was wonderful, and so inspiring. Rain also filled trash cans. When one three-person cleanup crew tried to dump out water before pulling a garbage bag from its barrel, a minor flood of used plates, napkins, four sand cups washed across the concrete. The debris included what was left of a small pink folding umbrella, which became an emergency broom to sweep the trash together. Gary Coleman, an attorney from Washington, said the rain made him unusually stationary, moving between the jazz tent and the nearby blue tent. Normally, I would go from music to music every 15 minutes, he said. He's been coming annually for 30 years and proposed to his wife, Leslie Zork, at a jazz fest 26 years ago. By the time the next to last groups were performing, the sun was out. Some umbrellas still were up first for shade, then to booty with. Related stories, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.